Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a quick video on upgrading the 12 volt battery on a Chevrolet Bolt EV. And so at some point in time, you're going to have to replace this. Um, this is um, relatively antiquated technology. Actually, it's quite antiquated compared to the rest of the car. Um, so, so you have a couple options. You're going to have to replace this, that's for sure. Because um, it will not last the same distance as the rest of the car. Um, but you're going to be faced with the, with the dilemma. Do you buy another battery just like it? And this is a glass mat battery. It's a little bit better than a, than a cheapo basic lead acid battery. But it's still a lead acid battery. Um, these things only have like 300 to 400 cycles or so. Is what these things last at. And they start to degrade almost immediately from the time you, you buy the car. Um, so you're faced with an option. Either buy another one just like it for a couple hundred bucks. Or... What you can do is you can do something like this and get yourself something a little bit more from the 21st century. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, this thing should probably last about 10 times longer than this, maybe eight or nine, but something in that range, eight, nine, 10 times longer than this. So basically you buy it once and you forget about it and it just lasts the life of the vehicle. So um, it does cost about two and a half times more than something like this. I mean, we're talking about 500 bucks instead of 250 bucks. But um, I mean, if you get the cheap lead acid battery, you could probably get one for 150 or something. So it would be, you know, a little bit more, maybe three times more expensive at that point. But it would basically last well over 10 times longer. So, so only thing else you have to do is you have to get these little adapters for it because it comes. This is the way it comes stock. It comes with just bolts right here. The advantage of doing this, there's other than just the life expectancy, is the fact that um, it's lighter. Um, we're going to find out exactly how much it is. I'm estimating probably 20, 20, 30 pounds lighter. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. To remove it is pretty simple. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket with an extension on it. You basically need 10 millimeter for this, uh, these connections right here. It's always a good idea to uh, take off the negative first and then the positive. And that's with the 10 millimeter for, and then the 13 millimeter with a with the extension. So there's, there's like a little shield right here that goes in. You want to take this out first. That's a 13 millimeter. And then the, the main connector is down here. Okay, so I got the Chevy Bolt up on the scale here. So if you ever want to know how much one of these cars weighs, this is how much it is. Now, granted, this is without uh, anything in it, including like the, lo the lower... Um, the, the lower trunk um, false floor area, anything that's in the back there, like the charger and then the tire inflator, all that stuff is out. But otherwise, it's stock, so that's pretty much what it weighs. That's actually surprisingly light. That's a little bit lighter than I than I thought it was. I thought it was, I thought it was published at thirty five sixty. I thought was the number, and so it, clearly this is. Um, I don't think that that little false floor thing in the back. So what I'm talking about is this right here in the hatch hatch area. This is out. But that, that, I don't think it weighs that much. It does not, I thought it was maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds, maybe something like that. But it's not, it's definitely not 60. And that's the only mod to the car. So here's what it looks like comparing the old to the new. As you can see, our new battery is a bit smaller. Not too much on height. Once you put these in place, it's actually about the same height. So that's not going to be a problem. But just a little bit smaller. Um, the capacity um, when you're comparing a new battery to a new battery is a little bit smaller as well. 35 amp hour battery. This one's a 50 amp hour. But this, uh, you have to keep in mind that the lead acid batteries don't last very long and they rapidly degrade. So that number is only when it's brand new. I mean, a couple months later, it drops down to 49 and then 48 and it just keeps on dropping. Right now, this is probably down to 20 or something like that. Um, the longevity is what we like about this battery. Um, going to be lasting 10 times longer. So it's going to maintain that 35 amp hour for several years. As opposed to this where it starts to degrade rapidly within the first few months. So um, the other advantage is, as I mentioned before, we now know exactly what the weight difference is. Um, this one's 32 and a half pounds. And this is 11 and a half pounds. So we're going to be shedding 21 pounds off the left front part of the car, which has actually been known to be the heaviest part of the car. So we should balance the weight out a little bit. So another interesting um, difference is um, this battery, the polarity is opposite. So the plus is on this side. 
and the negative is over here, whereas on this one, the plus is over here and the negative is over here. So in order for us to put this battery in, we're going to have to turn it in disorientation. So basically this shifts over here to keep the plus on this on the front. So this is shifting over to this side now. That's not going to be a problem. There's plenty of uh, wire there to, to slide it over from here versus to, to here. It's not going to make any difference as far as that goes. But since our battery is a bit smaller, as you can tell here, um, it's going to make for mounting a little bit differently. So I looked at the, the I'm going to use the existing box. I think it's fine, but the actual um, frame around it is not going to be necessary. So I went ahead and removed the box and I took this little bottom frame out. And then this is the top piece and then the other little uh, extra little bracket they got in the front there. Um, we're going to take all that. That's two and a half pounds right there. Here's what it looks like without the, the battery tray in. So I'm trying to mount the battery directly to the frame here, but there's just no place really secure to do it. It just slides around. It's too easy to slide around on this on these areas right here. There's just not enough. There's just minimal amount of framing here, just enough for the tray to go in. And so, and then plus we'd still have to mount the CPU somewhere. We'd have to mount this other little sensor back on someplace. So it's probably be just a lot easier just to modify the tray. Um, so that's what we've done right here. So we've already cut out some holes right here. We put some some strap ties in here and uh, This is what we got right here. So uh, I think that's going to mount pretty nicely Gets it nice and secure tucked up against this these edges right here and then tied down So it should be pretty secure. So I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and put this back in. Okay So here it is all installed It's all strapped down good and tight and now we have to do is uh, hook up our connections. You can see there's plenty of room here. And put our CPU back in. We've already put this other little sensor back in. Put our wire back here in. Here it is, fully installed now. I just took a reading. I got the hold meter on this thing. So it's 13 volts. Doesn't look like it remembered the temperature on the... Oh, yeah it did. Okay. So it did remember the temperature. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, it looks like uh, everything. I remember the Bluetooth stuff, radio station, pretty much everything. It just uh, just looks like the, the time is the only thing that was lost. So I have 100% confidence that this is going to last the life of the vehicle, if not more. Um, this battery should just last the life of the vehicle. I mean, 500,000 miles or whatever, you know, easily. No problem whatsoever. So the benefit of this is, of course, not just being, well, I guess we're 23 and a half pounds lighter, but we're also... Um, we never have to do that little uh, task again. I mean, that's it. This thing's good for the next 30 years. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more to come.